And speaking of the Asana software, I feel like we, it almost feels like we're in a sauna. Like this, this room can be converted into a sauna pretty easily. We've got the wood, we've got the, it has that <laughs> sauna, sauna vibe here. Okay, now. Um, pour, pour the water on the coals, Clay. Pour, pour the water on the, there it is. You can just, you can just see it now. It's just, it's starting to heat up. This is a fabulous way to burn calories while doing an interview. You just turn the room into a, a a sauna. So now we're, we're moving on here. Here's a notable, notable quotable, and I know you love the notable quotable. So here we go. This one is from best-selling author Jim Rohn, where he says, if you don't design your own plan, page 29, yeah. if you don't design your own plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. Are there any, um, you know, pig-headed rules you have for planning that you want to share? I know we've talked touched base on a lot of these rules, but is there any, like if I were to come work in your business or someone were to come work for you, are there any rules that you teach as far as planning your day that you're just pretty pig-headed about? Right. Um, I definitely, I mean, with, before your employees come in or before you are planning to work, forget, like, I mean, I, it just seems like amazing that you could even have one person helping you. I mean, that, that's a huge step when you get that first, even like part-time help. That's yeah. amazing. So it, Getting them to work immediately, having a task list them that the first the first second they walk through the door is having a task list that they can knock out immediately on their own. The first second they walk in. Like the Boom. Like, right, just they're in, they they sit down and they know already before on in the drive in what they are doing, what they should be doing that entire day. So with so many demands on you as a mom, as an entrepreneur, uh, as, a, as a teacher, um, how do you find the time to uh, uh, you know, write your posts or write your content? Because writing is, a, is like a, in my mind, writing is like a no contact sport. That's how I look at it, where like, I cannot be contacted by anyone while I'm writing. It like kills my train of thought. Maybe you're different, but how do you find time or how did you find time to write? All that stuff, and I know there's a lot of people watching this who want to be bloggers or, or entrepreneurs who content providers. How did you find time to? Or like you're a maker and but you're not a writer, yeah. or you're you're a writer but you're not a um, you don't have an eye and you're not a designer and all of those things. Um, I'll have to say that I was not a writer okay. um, when I first started out. I have a um, I have a, the gift of a very good eye. I I see um, I. How about I feel like I have a very good eye? That's one of my talents. And um, so I knew I had that, but then I had to fill in the blanks. And it, it was just by writing a lot. And um, and the better I got in, you know, reading a lot of the writers that, you know, who I wanted to, um, you know, who I thought were pretty good and had a great voice online and that sincere voice and still being fun and approachable. So um, I... Uh, I just, I just wrote a lot and, and I find time to write. Um, I just block off those times. I block off the time to sit down and write those articles. We also have, um, you know, uh, a team of writers. Um, we also have, but I still like to, uh, I'll probably write, I probably write, I don't know, five to 10 articles a week, most weeks. Really? Mm -hmm. That's impressive. I was, I was writing, uh, 160 to 175 articles a month at one point. Whoa, 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 whoa. You were writing how many a month? And, and that's why I love, like, I want to talk to, like, my English teacher in, like, ninth grade. <laughs> it's like, you're, you're what? <laughs> yeah. How many did you say? Um, up to 175 articles a month. 175. Yeah. This is the visual DJ, yeah. racial faucet right here with the fire hose of knowledge you don't get in college talking about all right now 175 of these a month right that's a, a now let me ask you this here um the environment is publishing big. and amplifying that as well well i mean environment is a big thing example um i uh, uh am a big it's probably disturbing but i'm a big bath guy I could, I, could, I could stay in the bath for seven <laughs> years because I, 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 for some reason, the flowing water, people not interrupting me, I like that aura. I could stay in there forever. I, I can never have a big enough of a bathtub. That's my thing. Some people I know like to work in the dark, like late night. They like to work with you know music playing. They like to work. What is the ambiance, the atmosphere that you try to create when you're most productive? Like what's your thing? Is it on the walk? Is it when you're sitting in the office? Is it under 
in this cabin place? What 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 is your perfect atmosphere? Because for? I do get distracted easily, yeah. Um, and because there's always things popping into my head, um, I really have to just um, when I moved our office and like my office um, outside of the home, um, just a, a short, very short walk from my home, um, that made a huge difference. Okay. And um, the girls in the office. And my husband are, um, we know, we have fun because we take breaks. Like we have we have an hour break where we try to do something really fun in the middle of the day. Um, and the whole team, we really, really encourage that. So um, we kind of just like put our nose to the ground. We know. So there's not a lot of noise. I like to be, um, I don't. I don't like a lot of talking. I don't like music playing. Um, I like to really, because I'll just start singing and then get up and then I'm dancing and then and then it's like, okay, I'm not writing. So, um, and when I can't find the words um, to write, then I, um, I, uh, I just, I, I, I don't, I'm like, oh, thoughts will come to, through my head and I'm like, oh, I'll work on this for a second. No, stay there and then just keep writing. And even if it's crap and then I'll come back and edit and, um, but just like having the discipline and sometimes when it's not just flowing out like that, yeah. just getting the words down. Mm-hmm.